Hey everybody, Charles here from Ratchet's Parkour. Uh, I'm bringing you a different style of video today. Normally I'm doing first person gameplay videos from our weekly nerf events, um, but this time I actually uh, modded a blaster. This is a Sentinel. Uh, normally I'm using a modded retaliator. I don't really do anything with that or call it a modded blaster because it's, I just bought the Orange Mod Works kit and, and put in a replacement spring and the replacement catch and whatnot. This is actually my first time really digging into something and completely changing the internals. So this is my first foray into brass breaches. Um, this is a huge work in progress. Obviously it's not pretty. It is purely just functional. I do finally have a, a working model though that, that does and performs pretty well. I have used this in at least one, one nerf battle um, and I'm going to be using it tonight and I'm really excited about it. Uh, but uh, uh, again, it's not, it's not pretty. It needs a paint job. But um, this has been probably about two months or so of trial and error of uh, messing with the, the, the brass breach, having it fail or not work properly or chewing up darts or that kind of thing. Um, this is the, the best I have so far, and there's a few things that I want to change about it and, and uh, whatnot. I'll show you the internals in just a second, um, but uh, real quick, just explaining um, what, I, what I ended up doing was uh, replacing the spring with this. I was having a lot of trouble figuring out what, to, what exactly to do. Um, I ended up settling on using a K26 spring, and I'll show you what I did when I break apart the, the, the blaster here and show you the internals. Um, there's some sanding that you have to do and, and a little bit of messing around with it, but other than that, you, uh, you, you kind of just sand some things away, and then you can fit that K26 spring right in, and it works perfectly. Uh, when I chronied this, this was getting about 130 feet per second. On an average, it was getting about 121 or so, and I'll show you that video in just a moment um, but again yeah the the it works pretty well if there was one thing that I would change I accidentally used some tightening rings on the barrel here and we use kush darts and, and the the rubber head goes all the way to the outside um, edges of that and so they're definitely sticking on those on those bits on those tightening rings and sometimes I, I get a little bit too ahead of myself I try to fire or, or load too quickly and a catch and uh, uh, jams and I ruin the darts and, and I'm not a huge fan of that so the rate of fire isn't the best, but man, this thing shoots laser beams. It's my new favorite blaster to use in Nerf Wars. Um, like I said, sometimes it depends on the, the, the darts that you choose. Um, I'm using Kush darts, and they work pretty well. Um, sometimes they'll slide in easily. That one was a little medium. Sometimes they go quickly, like that. Boom, that one was pretty quick. I'll fire three away. That one stuck a little bit. Boom, boom, and one more. So that's just a quick firing demonstration of the blaster. Uh, let's go ahead and take the, take the internals apart and I'll, I'll show you exactly what I did. Nice and carefully pop that open. Boom. Ooh. Bam. Okay, so these are the internals. Uh, let's get the lever off, move that away. Okay, uh, so right off the get-go, you can see right back here, this is the K26 spring. This, uh, the, the sleeves, in order for this to work right, what I was having trouble with was finding another spring that would compress all the way that I needed it to go for that catch to work. Um, and then the, the idea that I, I came up with was, well, you know, I'm, I don't need a spring that will compress all the way. I just need a spring that will, you know, push enough so that I'm not going to full compression, but still have enough power behind it that it will push the plunger through and get a, a decent um, uh, a decent reading or decent feet per second out of it. Um, and so I, I bought some K26 springs from McMaster Car uh, that came pretty quick. Uh, I thought that I had measured this correctly, that the K26 spring would easily fit over the sleeve, and that's just not the case. Uh, what I ended up having to do, and I can kind of, I'll chip this apart real quick. Um, boom, that's the barrel. This is the plunger. This is the plunger catch, boom. Okay, so I did modify the plunger a little bit. I put a little bit of padding. What I did, I just uh, uh, cut open a mega dart and put that on top. I, I super glued it in. Um, I got, so I put some Teflon tape underneath the O-ring just enough so that it has a you know decent um, connection there. And then put a little bit of, of uh, grease on the inside. I didn't do anything to the plunger yet. I think I might uh, solidify it a little bit, maybe with some uh, some sheet metal 
put that on the inside just to, to give it a little bit more rigid rigidity and sturdiness. Um, but as it is, it, it works works perfectly. Um, what I ended up having here, I, I tried to do the normal um, the normal breech system that I found some tutorials online, they were talking about having 19 30 seconds brass all the way on the outside of it, um, and then that would sleeve over the uh, over the barrel here. And I was having a really hard time with it because it kept up chewing darts. And um, what what would happen is it would catch the other dart right here, chip away at it, and then enclose on the other one. Um, and I was just it was not working out very well. And so what I came up with was just a, a basic dart pusher. Um, so this is half inch brass tubing with 17 30 seconds on the outside. I cut it actually with some some uh, tube cutters, and uh, what it naturally does is make that little indentation. I left that there and that makes a really nice smooth push of the dart into the barrel into the receiver here um, and it also just slides over the the next dart in the line without cutting it or or ruining it in any way um, which which was was fantastic and worked really well so this just slides perfectly in i do have uh the the dart catch up here and what i did i, I made it really thin so that the the magazine could fit right over it and then again this just slides in perfectly like this um, what I was talking about earlier with, uh, this does make a 100% seal, by the way, 100% right that way. Um, I don't lose anything, it's fantastic. It works super well. Um, the one thing that I wish I had done, because this is all, this is a half inch PVC pipe. This was a mess up. I tried using super glue. Don't use super glue. This is all epoxied in. Uh, this actually caught instantly, and I, I couldn't push it back in. You can see the the brass tubing in there. If, I, I think so. Um, and uh, so this just sticks out now, and that that's fine. It's what it is. What it is. Uh, but the the barrel goes all the way out here. I don't know if you can see, but I uh, I put some tightening rings on the inside there. And what's what ended up happening was because Kush darts. Um, here, I'll get a grab a Kush dart real quick. So because Kush darts have rubber that go all the way on the outside, they were catching on the tightening rings there and it gets stuck. And when I'm trying to really push that dart in and through, sometimes the dart would just kind of bend off to the side and I would ruin and break the dart. And it was a little frustrating to have it jam like that. Um, so I, at this point in time, I don't have another barrel because I had to sacrifice this from a different one because I messed up the first one that I had. Um, maybe in the future, I'll, I'll redo this whole one. I'll buy another Sentinel from Kmart or something like that and uh, do another one and just have the regular um, 9 16 brass on the inside without any tightening rings because I don't think it's necessary. They don't they don't fall out without them, um, but uh, yeah, that is what it is. It's right in there. Um, here's the the spring system right there. So this is about eight inches or so from the back. I just cut a little bit of half inch there, just as a, a little stopper, so that the the cut spring on the end wasn't pushing up or, or messing with uh, the catch spring at all. In any case. Um, but again, I, this does not fit normally, so I had to sand down um, a good ways on, on the outside. I also had to sand off these parts here because these actually flare out um, to make a, a full 360-degree uh, circle. These are actually flat edges right here. So I had to sand off all of this stuff to make it slide easily. Again, this is a pretty beefy spring. Um, but the cool thing about this, the full, full compression would be about here or so, probably about two, two and a half uh, inches or so. I haven't measured it, so I don't entirely know. Um, but the cool thing about this is I don't need it to go to full compression. Um, I only need it to go to about that compression. I, it's only gonna compress a, a couple inches or so. And so it's actually really smooth to, to have the, the lever go. It catches at about this point right here, which isn't full compression, and still has all the power of a K26 string to push that plunger head all the way through. And uh, I get some, some pretty high feet per second here, um, I, I do. I did do a crowny, um, sorry, a crony uh, of the, of uh, a couple of firings and whatnot. I think I did nine, um, which I'll show at the end of this video. And uh, I was getting up to one uh, thirties, uh, mid one thirties. I think out of the average, I got about one twenty one feet per second, and so it actually worked pretty well.
Okay, so that's what I did. Thank you so much for watching the video. Again, this is my first time doing doing a modification video. Um, not entirely a tutorial. It's just kind of showing and telling and, and telling you what I did. Feel free to do it on your own. Let me know how it goes. Um, like, like, subscribe, share, and whatnot. And uh, let me comment below. Tell me what you what you think, what you would change, what I missed. Because again, this is my first time doing a brass breach. Um, and uh, by all means, help me help me out and help me get ready for the next modification that I do. Thanks, guys.